Kansas City's breaking news leader. This is 41 Action News. The Hall name is synonymous with Kansas City, and tonight we've learned Adele Hall, the matriarch of the Hall family and a major force in local philanthropy, has died in Hawaii. Her husband, Donald Hall, chairman of Hallmark, has confirmed her passing. Adele Hall is a member of the Kansas City community known for her generosity, her lasting impact. We learned she actually died two days ago. Krista Dubill is in the newsroom. She's following this breaking story now. Krista? Mark, as you know, the Hall family has had a profound impact on Kansas City. Adele was in Hawaii with her husband, as you mentioned, when she died this past Saturday. And over the years, her family has donated to many agencies, including, but not limited, to the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art, Children Mercy Hospital, Wayside Waves, and many, many other agencies this family has had their hand on. We spoke to Leewood Mayor Peggy Dunn. She said, quote, I can't think of anyone I admired more. This is an incredible loss, not just for her family, but for the entire community. And Peggy Dunn was recently re the recipient of the United Way's annual meeting, Adele Hall Spirit of Giving Award, and she received that award from Adele Hall herself. And then also earlier in May, this is the video of Peggy Dunn receiving the Adele Hall Spirit of Giving Award at that uh, lunch several months ago. And then also in May of this past year, Adele spoke for the very first time publicly about her battle with breast cancer, which at the time she talked about beating. This is uh, around the time of that event when she was there with others from the group. There's also a really great picture of her, Adele in the white pants and the pink jacket there right in the middle with the Women's Public Service Network at the Pink Promise of Hope luncheon uh, that happened in May of 2012. And, and Adele talked about her battle with breast cancer for the first time publicly at that luncheon, which we were a part of. And we got to hear that story, and it was so inspiring because she talked about how she would write her worries on a little piece of paper and put them in a box by her bed or under her bed. So she shared a very private piece of herself that day. And again, today we're reporting that at the age of 82, Adele Hall has died. We've contacted the Nelson Atkins Museum. We'll have reaction from them tonight on 41 Action News at 10 and much more to come in the newsroom. Krista Dubell, 41 Action News. All right, Krista, thanks. Now, continuing our coverage, Adele Hall's life has impacted so many throughout the community. That includes former Kansas City Mayor Richard Berkeley. He joins us on the phone right now. Mayor, can you hear me? I certainly can. Thanks. And I'm Go ahead. terribly, terribly sorry to hear the news. What, what did Adele Hall mean to you? you? You had to know her well through all of your dealings with her in Kansas City. Well, she was a, 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 not only a lovely lady, but she was uh, deeply committed to her family and the community and every aspect of the community. She was, she and Don were a great team. Uh, she was very involved on her own as well, and she just either chaired committees or was involved in or working almost continuously for a vast variety of groups, whether it would be the arts or the hospitals or the hungry or whatever. There was a need. She was interested in being of assistance, and uh, the whole team, including others at Hallmark, really had a major impact on our community for many, many years and still do. Uh, they really were the pace setters, the number one uh, family in many ways and the number one givers. And their their endorsement of something meant a lot to uh, the community and to other, other givers. She just uh, was a grand person who I never saw one time that she seemed selfish in any way. She was trying to figure out a way to be helpful to others. To so many people. Is it even possible to pick out one thing, one lasting impact of her work here in Kansas City? Well, I would say she was certainly deeply involved with uh, Mercy Hospital and the whole Hospital Hill uh, area. She, But it's hard to limit it to one because I would think of a, any thing, and she was probably involved in it in one hmm. capacity or another. She just was a great ambassador for the city. She knew people all over the country, in fact, you know, around the world. She was a, a close friend. She and Don were close friends of, of President uh, George Bush, 41, that, and his wife, Barbara. They, they just uh, easily met people, easily worked with people, and always were respected by virtually everyone they were in contact with. All right. Dick Berkeley, thank you so much for your thoughts today. You're sure welcome. Sorry again. Mm. Thank you.
Now, as you mentioned, one of Adele Hall's favorite organizations in Kansas City was, of course, Children's Mercy Hospital. She volunteered there for more than 50 years and served on the central governing board there from 1967 to 1988, was the board chair in 1983 to 1985. She also co-founded the Children's Mercy Golf Classic with Tom Watson in 1980. That raised more than $10 million over 25 years.